welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be giving the foxy eyes look uh, a bit of a go. I've not done it before, so this should be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, I've watched a few talk tutorials myself and thought, hmm, looks a bit tricky, but I like a challenge. So um, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. So if you want to watch, stay tuned. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with a primer. So I'm going to be using the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer today. Um, which is like a, a clear primer with the little gold. Don't know if you can see, not very well. Um, little gold flecks in. So I'm going to be popping that on. Let's get my hair out of my face first, eh? I always look really red on camera when I'm rubbing in my uh, my primer. I'm not like allergic to any of the or anything like that. I don't know what it is. I think it must be. Obviously, when I'm massaging my face, my blood's coming close to the surface of my skin. But don't worry, I have no allergies. It's uh, it soon wears off when I've stopped. It's just a bit odd, really. It's always done that. I do like the feel of that on, on your skin. It kind of feels, it's weird because it feels like you've got an oil on, but it's not oily at all. It's like, I don't know, it just soaks straight in. It's a really nice primer. Right, so that's on. So next I'm gonna go in with foundation. So today I'm gonna be using the Ordinary uh, Coverage Foundation in the shade two, which is light medium. So that one, but because I've got a, a touch of a tan at the moment, um, I'm also going to be going in with this one's quite dark, NC30, which is the MAC uh, Studio Fix Foundation. I'm going to pop a little drop in with that just to darken it up a little bit. Give it a little shake. Put a squirt of that on the back of my hand. And give that one a shake as well. Oh god. I was getting really nervous with these ones that haven't got a, a pump on them. I'm not gonna like empty a whole bottle onto my hand. These are quite thick though. I'm not gonna take too much of that one. So kind of one to half of one, I suppose. And then I'm gonna Pop those on the face. Move it around. This is just the ordinary one to start off with. And a little bit of the MAC one. quite similar at the moment but MAC oxidizes really badly well not badly but it oxidizes so right and then I'm going to brush that in so I'm just going in with the Sigma foundation brush F60 so I'm just gonna brush that in mix it up a bit Mirror needs a clean. That's 
Filthy. Filthy mirror. Get it right in there. Cover over my little mate, Mr. Spotito. nice <laughs> yeah it looks a bit random in the minute but, but don't worry it'll be fine so that's my face mask gone <laughs> oh, I like a Halloween person right, I'm gonna blend that in now really random but I can assure you it's it must be the camera because it doesn't look anything like that in my mirror it actually has blended really well um but yeah it'll be fine just just ignore this it'll uh, it'll soon sort itself out right so next I'm going to go in with my concealer I can't take myself seriously I look really weird Right, so chin, a bit on the nose, a bit up there. And a bit down there. And then I'm gonna blend that in. I'm not, I'm going, I'm going to pop um, some iconic drops just for highlight on the top of my cheek. Choose my finger. Blend that. human now okay so now I'm gonna do my loose powder I'm going in with the Dora Mercier translucent powder and the Pro sorry Revolution Pro 250 brush so I'm gonna take that I'm just gonna 
that back under my eyes again. Put that under my eyes. And where I've got concealer. over my forehead lines and I've got foundation on it creases quite bad so I find if I set there as well leg like there and it doesn't I should take that off from there. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to stop there with my base for now. And then I'm going to do my... eyes so now how are we gonna do this right so I'm gonna start off with the um, Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette which is that one um, I'm gonna go in with serious which is this kind of dark grey on a pointy brush with, that is clean it's stained um matte 210 matte mac so God, i don't have room here right oh no i'm not i need to prime my lids Gonna pop a little bit of concealer on my lids as well. bit on the end to try and map out my crease. I, must, I need to learn to sit up so you can see properly. into the tail of my brow as well. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Trying to get them even. Okay. And then I'm gonna blend that line. I'm gonna use the Sigma Buff and Blend E39 for that. From my red cup now, I will soon make a move. Okay, that's 
not bad. Right, then I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M138. I'm going into this darker brown shade here, which is called Punk. I'm gonna go slightly underneath. those two together so I'm going to go back in with my Sigma E39 again same Morphe M13A I'm going to be taking a uh, zone which is this brownie shade here I'm going to kind of go over the join of those two So I'm going to go in with this um, Eye Sweep from me, which is a really fluffy brush. Like that. Okay, and then on the main part of the eyelid i'm going to go in with shimmer so i'm going to do my favorite which is the rush by doll beauty so i'm going to take that on a flat brush and i'm using the urban decay naked 2 palette brush on the small end I'm gonna pack that onto my lid.
like that. And then I'm going to just very gently, because I don't want to lose too much of the colour, just kind of, but they've actually, ooh, they've actually um, gone on really well together. But um, yeah, I'm just going to, that's why I'm just going to really gently blend it. So. Literally like that. No good that. Right. So now I'm gonna do make sure we're all good. And I haven't had a much fallout at all from that palette actually. I do like that palette. I haven't used it for ages. Clean up me edges. Right. Oh, eyeliner now. So I'm going to be using the um, Pro Magnetic Eyelier lashes again. But I'm going to obviously be using the liner that they supply for this part, but I'm gonna do my wing with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Sorry, KBD Beauty. Right. So I won't talk when I do this. Because I can't. Right. So I'm just applying this liner where the lashes are going to stick because I just find this liner a little bit too tricky to do any detailing but you do need sort of two to three coats of this so I'm just doing this bit first so I'm just gonna probably just skip through this bit um you're just gonna get bored so I'll see you in a minute okay so a little little blip there but we're not going to see that once the other line is on anyway. So I've just gone over there. So next I'm going to take my KVD Beauty liner. Um, so you want to take the tail kind of so where you've done this little wing on your shadow here. You want to take it just to the bottom of that. Because um, I've got crease in here because my eyes are slightly hooded. It may look on me like it's a little bit wibbly wobbly but... There's nothing I can do about that, so that's fine. But I'm just gonna do that, so again, I'm not gonna talk. So, oh, I need two hands, really. Mm, see if I can find a better mirror. I don't have to hold. Right, let's give this a whirl. I'm just gonna here slightly. Okay, what I want to do is take that down. So there. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to extend a point. I want that wing to be quite long. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. All right, okay, so like that. And then I'm gonna use the tatty liner again just to take those inner corners right, right into uh, my tear duct as well. Closer to you Drinking courage from my red cup now I will soon make a move Liner done. I'm quite happy with that. So now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna drop everything as usual. Right. Right over there. Right. I'm gonna take my Morphe Rich Brown pencil and I'm just gonna go on my line a little bit as well try and do this this mirror again okay so that's eyes pretty much done um so i'm going to do my brows now with the benefit products again and that's a bit better right so I'm just going to brush through them I'm going to kind of rush through my brows because you see me do them if you've seen my other tutorials many times so yeah I'll kind of skip through most of this so taking the precisely my brow pencil in light just going to map out the hairs. Okay, there we are. And then I'm going to take the Gimme Brow Plus in light again and just feather through those. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. that and then I'm going to set those with the 24 hour brow setter. I try to focus on breathing. My heart is getting a beat. Okay. All right, so that's brows done. Then I'm going to do my contour. So I'm going to use. What's that got on it? Disgraceful. Right, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Salil and the. No, not that one. This one from Skin. I'm going to. I'm just here. Not a loose 
cheeky bronze for my bronzer I'm gonna use the uh, Sigma F30 large powder brush I'm gonna take that all over my top of my forehead like that Okay. And I'm actually really liking this look. Hmm. Right, then on the blush, I'm gonna use the uh, New by Nature Coral, sorry, Soft Coral. On the skin brush. Lovely, and then highlighter. I'll be using the Ofra Rodeo Drive with the skin highlighter brush. Um, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheek, which is my favourite, and oh, sorry, Pillow Talk in that one. Line my lips. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer. Let me know in the comments if there's any other looks that you'd like me to try out. Because I quite like doing something I've not done before. And I'm going to go over that with MAC Twig, which is this one. Lastly, I'm just going to pop my lashes on. Oh, you can still see that spot. Hang on. 
angle. I forgot about him actually when I was doing my concealer, so. You can, you can sod off. You ain't getting in in the party. not welcome here. Where were we? Lashes, isn't it? Oh, I need my tweezers, don't I? Right. So, take this one. That's this eye. So we do this one first. Oh. It's only trouble with the tweezers because they're metal. The lash sticks to the tweezers and then you're like, oh, for God's sake. All right, try again. Mm. Get off. Much easier. Right. Actually, went on really well when I use my fingers. Brilliant. And then, because I completely forgot, I'm just going to wear. Uh, a little bit of mascara underneath slightly as well. Not that you can see them, but and on my bottom lashes. In my last video, I used the um, the Garnier Rose Soothing Glow Mist as a setting spray because I've heard it works really well. Do you know what? It really does. It's like, I don't know, three, four pound a bottle and it is absolutely brilliant. It makes your skin like really glossy and, but not like oily glossy. It just, everything merges together. It's honestly, it works really well. So I'm gonna be using that again today. It smells nice. The thing is, you do have to do quite a few sprays. And um, where's my mirror? Come here. Okay, so there we are. That's my version of the um, the foxy eyes trend. Um, I hope that you know I made it fairly easy to follow, so that you can have a go yourself. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I'd love to know. Um, yeah. So if you want to see future videos like this, please like and subscribe. And um, I will hope to see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move.